matrix A has elements 1, 2, 3, 5 and 8, then cardinality is called as number of distinct elements of the set. That is, cardinality of set A which is denoted as n of A is 5. If set B has elements 2 and 3, then cardinality of set B, n of B is 2. If set C has elements 1, 5 and 6, then cardinality of set C is equal to 3. If set D has elements 1, 1, 5 and 6, then distinct elements in this set is 3. So, cardinality of D, n of D is 3. Let's see what is the relationship between this cardinal number of sets over their basic operations on sets. Consider these three pairs of sets. You can see in the table cardinality of A, cardinality of B, cardinality of A union B and cardinality of A intersection B. Observe these numbers carefully. You can notice there is some relation between cardinality of A, B, union of A and B and intersection of A and B. From these numbers we can conclude cardinality of A plus cardinality of B is equal to cardinality of A union B plus cardinality of A intersection B. This property is very important because if you know any of three elements then you can easily find fourth element. For example, if you know number of elements in first set and number of elements of union and intersection of two sets then with this equation you can easily find number of elements of second set. By rearranging LHS and RHS terms we can derive many other equations that is Cardinality of A is equal to cardinality of A union B plus cardinality of A intersection B minus cardinality of B. Cardinality of B is equal to cardinality of A union B plus cardinality of A intersection B minus cardinality of A. Cardinality of A union B is equal to cardinality of A plus cardinality of B minus cardinality of A intersection B. The last relation is cardinality of A intersection B is equal to cardinality of A plus cardinality of B minus cardinality of A union B. Remember cardinality is nothing but the number of elements in sets. Particularly the number of distinct elements in sets. From the examples in the table we have established this relation. Let me establish the same relation using Venn diagram. These are the two sets, set A and set B. This represents the union of set A and B. This area represents intersection of A and B. This area is nothing but common elements between A and B. This shaded area represents A bar B. A bar B is nothing but all the elements from A except common elements between A and B. This area represents B bar A. That is all the elements from B except common elements between A and B. Let's prove that cardinality of A union B is equal to cardinality of A plus cardinality of B minus cardinality of A intersection B. Through Venn diagram we can say that cardinality of A union B is equal to cardinality of A bar B plus cardinality of B bar A plus cardinality of A intersection B. All these three portions make the A union B. Let's add and subtract cardinality of A intersection B from RHS. It is cardinality of A union B is equal to cardinality of A bar B plus cardinality of B bar A plus cardinality of A intersection B. We are adding and subtracting cardinality of A intersection B. Let's regroup this equation. We are keeping these two terms together that is cardinality of A bar B plus cardinality of A intersection B and 
कार्डिनालिटी ऑफ बी बार ए प्लस कार्डिनालिटी ऑफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी माइनस कार्डिनालिटी ऑफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी चिट्टी वेन डायग्राम कार्डिनालिटी ऑफ ए बार बी प्लस कार्डिनालिटी ऑफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इज नथिंग बट ए दैट इज इट इज नथिंग बट कार्डिनालिटी ऑफ ए सिमिलरली इफ यू सी द डायग्राम कार्डिनालिटी ऑफ बी बार ए प्लस कार्डिनालिटी ऑफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इज नथिंग बट कार्डिनालिटी ऑफ बी हेन्स कार्डिनालिटी ऑफ ए यूनियन बी इज इक्वल टू कार्डिनालिटी ऑफ ए प्लस कार्डिनालिटी ऑफ बी माइनस कार्डिनालिटी ऑफ ए इंटरसेक्शन बी नोटिस इफ ए एंड बी आर डिस्जॉइंट सेट देन ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इज अ नल सेट डिस्जॉइंट मीन्स the sets does not have any common elements between them so the equation becomes cardinality of a union b is equal to cardinality of a plus cardinality of b since cardinality of a intersection b is zero 